basically the receptor now these are uh, binding sites of the drug with some functional correlate to it which means the if the drug comes and binds to the site there will be some activity that happens so these are binding sites for the drug with some functional correlate so what is a receptor a receptor is a macromolecular site on the cell with you know with which a agonist which means a drug which can bind to this receptor it binds to bring about a change okay so this agonist which comes and binds to the receptor is called as a ligand that is ligand is a molecule which binds selectively to a specific receptor okay so the thing that comes and binds to the receptor is called as ligand in very simple terms and receptor is nothing but a macromolecular site on the cell which uh, with which an agonist binds or the ligand binds to bring about a change okay so this is about a receptor now you can have uh, different forms of receptors one is something called as a spare or uh, you know a reserve receptor so you know some experiments uh, show that high concentrations of a uh, agonist can still produce maximum response in presence of an antagonist and this is because of some spare or reverse receptors for example so um you know if you have a receptor and uh, a ligand that is um, a agonist which means agonist is somebody or a material that will come and bind to the receptor and bring about a change it will bring about a function either increase or decrease now what happens is if an antagonist comes and binds to the receptor at times there is a competition between the agonist and antagonist which will we will understand further in the lectures um so they bind this agonist and the antagonist will have competition for the same receptor and if the antagonist has more preference to to bind to the uh, receptor it will bind so what is an antagonist an antagonist will bind to the receptor and not bring about any change but still at times when you give higher concentrations of agonist even in the presence of antagonist there will be a change because there's some hidden or reserve receptors present elsewhere that's called as the sparse or the reserve receptors now you also have something called as the silent receptors these are receptors to which an agonist binds but does not produce a res response it's basically like these are function less receptors okay so those are called as receptors so what is a receptor it's a macromolecular site on the cell with which agonist binds to bring about a change okay the next uh, term that you need to understand is now after binding to the receptor the ability to activate the receptor if it has the ability to activate the receptor it's called as intrinsic activity but the ability itself of the drug to combine with the receptor is called as affinity which means how much capable or how much attraction is there for this drug to bind the receptor is called as affinity and the ability to activate the receptor after binding to the receptor it's called as how much can it activate that is called as intrinsic activity or efficacy and it varies from minus 1 through 0 to plus 1 now we will understand this further let's understand a little more what is a agonist so it will bind to the receptor and it will activate the receptor maximally which means the ability to activate is called as intrinsic activity so the intrinsic activity is plus 1 which means it's maximum what is an antagonist it binds to the receptor but produces no effect so it's not activating the receptor the intrinsic activity is zero but now agonist is not able to bind to the receptor because these are already occupied by the antagonist that is decreases the action of agonist by itself that's all 
it's not producing a negative effect on the receptor so it's not having it's not letting the agonist produce the effect that's all so now what's a partial agonist it activates a receptor sub maximally not maximally somewhere between no, you know non activation to maximum activity so it's between 0 and plus 1 it will produce similar effect in the absence of agonist but it will decrease the effect of pure agonist okay okay what is an inverse agonist this type of drug brings you know binds to the receptor and produces the opposite effect so it's not bringing about the effect that we wanted it to bring about it brings about the opposite effect it's a negative effect that's you know minus it goes into the minus okay so agonist will bind to the receptor and activate it maximally so which means the intrinsic activity is plus 1 antagonist will not bring about any effect so there's no function so it's the intrinsic activity is zero partial agonist which means it will bring about half the activity of the agonist somewhere between 0 and plus 1 and then uh, inverse and uh, inverse agonist inverse agonist is a drug which brings about the opposite effect and hence the intrinsic activity is negative for more such videos please like share follow and subscribe my youtube channel you can also follow me on instagram have a good day thank you